Tactics Watch. This is LP. Now today I'm going to be talking about a couple of things. The first one will be a uh, vote, I guess you can say election run on Twitter. Who or what is the most influential news source for the majority of Jamaicans? That was the question. We're going to talk about it. Next, we're going to talk about the case that went down with the British Virgin Islands Premier. Right? Him get caught up in some diet coke business with Uncle Sam. Never shown sure how this is relevant to Jamaica and to Jamaica's 116s. We can move into the video. But since we start off with the whole voting thing, we could talk about our voting thing. If you see the video yesterday, you know, even mentioned that on May 3rd it's going to be the third anniversary for the movement. The third official anniversary. And on May 3rd, we're going to be dropping the top 10 greatest politics watch videos of all times as elected by you, the people. Yesterday and today is nomination day. So if you haven't done so yet, go on the community tab on my channel and nominate your favorite videos. Tomorrow, for the next two days, we'll be voting. We're actually going to vote. Now, the names we see so far on the community page, I expect them. We see top 20 Christians, fatherless Jamaicans, and if you ask their mother, we see the doggy video, we see the Nevada Hodges video, we see the Hogless and Love video, we right? see the Octane series, you know, 87, 91, 16, kerosene, we right? see all of the videos that we expect so far. But if you haven't added your voice, add it. Right. Today will be the last day for nomination. After that, we're going into the voting. Top 10 videos of all time. Now, we can move into this. So, a number of people start to send me right, some screenshots and I say, so we pay them run election on Twitter. Right. Voting go on. So, I get the screenshot them and at first I was thinking, you know, some kind of joke thing. Then, take a look on Twitter and I must say, Oh, this is real. So, Kevin O'Brien Chang, who is a political commentator, but I don't know all the hats them when we are, but I know a political commentator is one of them. Right? You might see him in the news from time to time, commenting on various issues. He put up the question, what is the most influential news source for the majority of Jamaicans? TV, yet 19%. Radio, yet 35%. Newspapers get 9% and the local YouTuber get 38%. What does this mean? Because people are sending it to me and they're like, see, to be the movement is strong and all that. Me, you know what I say? But when I remember, all time people saying, Chicken Mary out the near. What does this actually mean? When it's a TV, get 19%. Radio, which I guess you could say is the closest, get 35%. Newspapers get 9%. 9%. And then I look at YouTuber, right? I don't know where the vote end, but up until the screenshot that I'm gonna get, this is what the voting look like. 38%. And yes, you have to remember this is us on Twitter, right? This is not a national election, this is on Twitter. But Twitter is a major platform and whole heap of PIA over there. Whole heap of Jamaicans over there, so big up the PIA them, right? On Twitter. So, what does this mean? It means, say, uh, news, as we know it, has completely changed. Obviously, I'm not the first YouTuber in history. Right? Many of your favorite YouTubers, many of your favorite Vulture Squad personalities have been doing this from Wapi Kill Fido. Right? And actually, I think that they why they resent me. They go and like, say, a true, we talk about them favorite artists, but I really because, right, they feel like, you know, the movement shouldn't do it there, right, in such a short space of time. They wish they could get the support for the people them and get the movement. But that's another day. We got Vulture Squad, right? As grotesque as vultures are, remember, they are still needed in the ecosystem. Somebody has to clean up the scraps. So when you see a little YouTuber, is even mentioned next to these major source right, of news, traditional source of news. And not just mentioned, but in the lead for most influential, understand say your favorite 
leaders, your favorite big wigs, your favorite 116s, your favorite 90s, your favorite 87s. Let's just sum it up as the powers that be are extremely upset. Why are they upset? Because in order for maintain power, you need to be able to control what well, the people them see and hear. And because of the internet, because of social media, your favorite big wig in Jamaica can no longer control what the people them see and hear. I don't think you understand how dangerous that is right, for these people. The reason why the old time you hear some of them right, get called out is when Uncle Sam sent for them is because them have links with certain people on certain platforms. Right? Some of them right, can buy out their money, threaten their money, right? kill off their money. Right? That's how they operate. Right? That's how they keep right, their wrongs in the dark. TV, radio, newspapers, there's a lot of limitations to them. This is why it's very rare to see anything break. Right, like any real shocking stories break right, through traditional media. Very rare. Because you can regulate it. You can stifle it. But the internet, social media, your favorite politicians, your favorite big wigs them, can't control it. Yet. Notice me say yet. The only reason why there is a quote unquote therapy is because the Jamaican government doesn't control social media. If they did, there wouldn't be no movement. So this quote-unquote Serpy, so this quote-unquote Serpy right, and similar bloggers right, are a problem right, for Jamaica's elites, Jamaica's criminals. And understand, it's not just your favorite gunman, your favorite politicians, wants to be gone to, your favorite lawyers, judges, whoever. No matter of fact. If it's one thing they all have in common, is that their world would be a better place without quote unquote therapy. If they not agree upon nothing else, they might not agree on politics, they don't agree on economics, they don't agree on religion, but I can assure you, from the political side, the entertainment side, the gunman side, whichever side they want to look, they would love nothing more than to never see another Right, with a drop on this platform. This is why I said it's the people's channel. Because it is only the non acidic people of Jamaica that supports this movement. Let me repeat that. It is only the non acidic people of Jamaica who support this movement. And I don't know if those people are in the majority or the minority. I really don't know. They could be the minority. It could be 5% of the country. It could be 80%. I don't know. It is only a matter of time before the Jamaican government starts to draft up right, all kind of legislation to deal with social media personalities. I mean, they already start, we know that. Just like how me know right, about the whole thing with your favorite producer with you, the snake, me know, say, you know, him lawyer come. Yeah, me know, right, with your favorite lawyers and legislators them up to. And me know the one them were really a push feet. But that's for another day. Now, in order for them to bring in certain legislation right, to stifle online dissent, right, they have a first need support from the people. They can bring in the laws, them, you know, but the public might give them some kind of backlash. So how do they get the public to accept say, they don't need right, people like quote-unquote Sir P and the PIA? How do they do it? Easy, really. They're going to start to send out their agents. It's like how Vulture Squad constantly right, on the attack and they tell us Sir P only want views and Sir P is not the... It's going to be like that but from people who actually consider to be quote unquote somebody. You see, nobody take the Vulture Squad seriously. People can't see them for what they are. But certain officials, the public, right, are going to say, well, him? Him are the leader for this. Him are the president of this association. No, I'm one journalist for 20 years. No, I'm one lawyer for 15 years. And because these people have certain title attached to them, it will be stronger when them come out against the movement. I want you to write down these words. 
Så so, det happen. Yes, det er det. Og det er det, man. In the future, and it possibly very near future, you will see all kind of people come crawling out of the woodworks trying to tell you say we need some kind of special legislation to deal with people like quote unquote therapy. And they're going to make it sound like it's because they care about you. They're going to make it sound like it's because they care about the public. Oh, we don't want the public to get, you know, certain things. This is why, but it's really to protect themselves. It's always to protect themselves. They might make it sound like they're doing it for your benefit, when it's actually for theirs. Because I know, say, they demand the pressure. Yes, the powers that be in Jamaica are pressuring many of your favorite politicians, many of your favorite legislators. This individual serp is a real problem. You can't make him the on internet. We need to make sure, sir. And what, what me? Remember one time you did this? Supposing go leak your file too. That's what they might discuss. How do I know this? Same way I know lots of things. So look out for them type of things eh? in the future, the very near future. If you think traditional media houses, if you think quote unquote real journalists are going to sit back and allow a little YouTuber to come mention some of them and even a lead them in a poll like this with Nagosa. You know what I mean? And them say Nagosa, it's Nagosa. So when people say this and say, I see the the movement song, Chicken Mary, are them here. Brace yourself for a number of attacks. It might be overt, it might be covert, it might even be a little subtle thing, but they don't really specify what they matter about. We're not going to know what they matter about. This cannot be allowed to happen. The powers that be in Jamaica need to be able, right, they can crush any dissenting voice or bribe said dissenting voice or intimidate said dissenting voice and stop certain things from God. When they say, well, long Jamaica can come out with some decent laws to deal with illegal right, weapons, right, the illegal importation of weapons, right, the sentencing, right, of notorious 87s. Right. Man, that prisoner sent out it. All them things, would, these are the things the government should care about. So, we'll never see how all this turned out in the long run. But, it now goes so. Anyway, let me touch upon the British Virgin Island Premier. So, by now, if you're not aware, the Premier for the British Virgin Islands, Uncle Sam Wolampan, the Master Wolampan, the head of the ports. And our son. When I look through the case, this right here is the perfect example of how 116 is a parade. A lot of people still don't understand what a 116 is. A 116 is not an era leader. They're not dance. They often have no interest in any kind of violence or badness. For them think they're way above that. Uncle Sam, right? This side said them are gonna run them operation. Them get somebody right, who is them agent right, disguised as a member of the Sinaloa cartel. For those of you who don't know, that was the cartel that El Chapo used to control. The head of the ports I tell this agency, I them run the thing. And we run the ports, you can bring in or want to bring in. That sounds familiar, right? Goes on to mention so them know the premier. In other words, them know the boss. Right? She tell the agent that she can go link him at any time. After linking up with the premier, he basically make them know say I want 500,000 US up front. And them start right, to discuss money. The man make them know what he can do, what he can do. One part stand out to me. And this right is to show no how them things are work. Them start to discuss how them are going to set up some smoke and mirror operations. They might get some fake seizures. In other words, they might get some shipment, make it get catch, then put it in the news and say, see it, big things are going on when the real operation are going on behind the scenes by the Premier himself. It might be on the British Virgin Islands, but I saw it work right across the world, right across the Caribbean. Enough time when you see certain things fine, when you see certain bus put out in the news, right? how much key fine, and we we'll say, you see there, things are going on. The real things that go on behind the scene. You know, I them just give the police them a couple of keys and then they're going to say, see, we're tough on diet coke. Meanwhile, he agreed 
right? If you accept 3,000 kilograms of diet coke, and four months later, you'd get another 3,000 kilograms. That's three tons plus three tons of diet coke. Right about serious weight. At one point, them staff will discuss the money we're going to ship on thing. And the premier, Mr. Fahi, estimates it'll be 78 million US. And he might want 10% of that. Now, we must have really gone to school, but 10% of 78 million US. So, we're going to see how 116 is operating. This man is the premier for the country. Remember the British Virgin Islands is an overseas British territory, similar to like Cayman. So it's about premier. So day to day, I them around the island. It's not like say the British government, like Boris Johnson and the Queen, they on the British Virgin Islands are run on a day to day. That's why they can link the head of the ports and yes, hey man, we can bring in certain things. So you notice politicians and ports. Same thing in Jamaica. Over the years, your favorite top diet coke smugglers can't do what them do without political links. Now, here's the thing. When you want a 116 video, I'll give you now 116 video tomorrow. A real 116. A Jamaican 116. This person, or Uncle Sam alone, could have stopped him. Because there are many of your favorite politicians in their back pocket. You want to tune in for that video. So, remember for the nomination on the community tab, you want to hear the top 10 greatest videos you've seen on this channel. Anyway, Ultra Squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know more life. Ultra Squad, stay circling. Bless.